Are you ready for a cozy new accessory for you brioche lovers? This one uses only one skein of each color and it's continuing my balaclava obsession. So I came out with the wooly waffle balaclava earlier this year and I had to briocheify it. So this is the brio clava, the brioche balaclava, and it's just one skein of Westwell Tandem as the main color. So one ball, one skein, Westwell Tandem, you just need one of these, and then one skein of a really fluffy yarn. So that's something like Ching Fibers Melted Baby Surrey, this soft alpaca, that's the one I used for this version. It's a really nice fluffy contrast color, really close to your face. Or our new Walk Collection Big Kid Mohair is another super fluffy yarn that comes in 100 gram skeins, and there's 200 meters in this super fluffy mohair. So the Big Kid Mohair is mostly mohair. It's 78% mohair, 13% wool, 9% nylon. And the Melted Baby Surrey, if you want the alpaca as your contrast color, this comes in 50 gram skeins. But they're a really similar thickness, and you just need one skein whoop, of each color. So this is Mouse as the main color with a light gray. So here's the Brio Clava with the dark main color and that light, super frothy, soft inside. And here is one with sage as the main color and a really bright green. Even the craziest colors as your contrast color become a bit more subdued when you briocheify your fluffy colors because what you're mostly seeing on the outside is the main color. And then that bright, intense color is just like a crazy little shadow peeking through the brioche columns. Love it, that toxic green. So this is my turtle brio clava. Oh, I love it. And if you wanna make the neck even longer, you could have a super long neck that even goes further down. But if you knit it just as instructed in the pattern, it's long enough to reach down your neck and you could use your sweater to like have it look like one harmonious thing but just one skein of each color. This is done on like a DK weight gauge. So about like a four millimeter needle, you're gonna get this kind of thickness. And I made this little swatch with our unicorn colorway from Westwool. It's that beautiful pearlescent lavender color. And then our purple walk collection, big kid mohair. Look at that, that big 100 gram ball. So fluffy, really, really soft and it becomes a bit more of a dense, fluffy factor on the wrong side of the work. I just love using these fluffy yarns and brioche because it gives such a loftiness to the fabric and you get that softness, but you also get the structure and the stitch clarity of your wool. So the wool is the main color. Oh, you could have a neon pop with a little light gray on the inside. So the Brio Clava you can get on Ravelry or Westknits.com. It's a new pattern. And if you haven't done brioche before, it's a good way to learn because you start with just regular one by one ribbing on the neck and it's knit in the round. And then you do the brioche. And I always find when you're first learning brioche, the first rows are always the hardest. So if you start with something really easy, like that one by one rib, and then go to brioche, you've already got fabric set up. It's easier on your hands and easier to see the knits and the pearls. So you have, I think, much higher success rate to try some brioche after simple one by one rib. So as you join the neck in the round, the rest of the brio clava is knit flat back and forth. And then there's a little shaping to little whoop, contour against your jaw there so it's not so closed. It becomes a little more tapered to follow the frame of your face. And then it's a rectangle going up. And then here you set these stitches, you bind them off, and then you just keep going with the top part of your head stitches. So you just make this little rectangle and then there's a simple seam here and a simple seam here. I included a little video tutorial on how to seam your project. So it's one little connection here, one connection there, and then it makes that beautiful curved rounded silhouette. And the final thing you do is a little hem. I feel like a fluffy little scuba diver in this version, I love it. So the final hem is a folded hem in the main color. Oh, and it just gives that polished finishing touch. You can wear this with your favorite winter coat, even style it with a shawl and some other knitted accessories. 
So really quick and fun to knit, just one skein of each color. And there's so many cool combos. You could do like a blue with the dark blue as the main color. This is the Morgane colorway. And this is the swimming pool colorway. So Westwell Tandem and Morgane, Walk Collection, Big Kid Mohair in swimming pool. Olivia, this grungy green would be really cool with a dark green main color. This is Westwell Tandem in Wellington. Walk Collection, Big Kid Mohair in Olivia. <gasps> that would be cool. Or even a neon. Oh, a neon with that green. Oh, 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 oh. that would be oh, super glowy. And then for you purple lovers, I think this little dusty secret colorway, just go with a smoky gray. This is the mouse west wool colorway. One skein of tandem, one skein of the Walk Collection Big Kid Mohair, or any fluffy yarn of your choice. Have some fun knitting this new pattern, and if it's your first time doing brioche, you can do it, okay? Just relax, get that ribbing set up, and I have a lot of nice brioche tutorials uh, here on YouTube, and you could also check out a workshop I have on Brioche Basics. I walk you through everything you need to know on how to knit and purl in brioche, how to fix mistakes, how to work with color and cast-ons and bind-offs. So everything you need to learn about brioche knitting is on Brioche Basics. It's an online workshop at westknits.com. So check it out. There's lots of nice resources and uh, it's worth it to be this cozy and stylish. Feels amazing. So have some fun picking out your colors and I can't wait to see what you make with this pattern. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.